All right, back again, Luke here. And today, what I want to do is show you guys what I've been up to. And as you can see here, this huge tangled wired mess, this is what I've been up to. <laughs> uh, after getting in that, uh, that Triforce board here, I, uh, I turned the Triforce on and had everything hooked up and actually the video works on this Triforce, which means that uh, the video on this or the, uh, the CPU on this one is uh, not good which means I'm gonna have to either try and see if I can salvage it or pick up another one so that bottom one's not working. But um, I got this dim board here and I originally took the dim board and uh, I plugged it in here to the Naomi, tried to turn it on, hooked everything up, and uh, it took you know quite a, quite a long time for this thing to register, but then when it finally did come up, it said that there was an error 01 and it said that the, uh, the hardware wasn't compatible or wasn't working right. And uh, I thought, okay, great, is the dim board bad or what? So I popped it back into the Triforce, turned the Triforce on, went through the Triforce's uh, test menu to test the dim board, and the dim board came out fine. So I, uh, I decided to talk to uh, Chris, also known as uh, Wicked Clown NZ, and we were doing some checking online, and uh, he found out that the inside of these Naomi boards, they have a, uh, a BIOS, and it's basically on an EEPROM. And uh, to give you an idea here, uh, this is one of my broken uh, Naomi's here. As you can see, this EEPROM here, this is the EEPROM that was in my working uh, Naomi. And if you notice on this EEPROM, you'll notice there's a letter. This one says D. In order to run this GD-ROM setup, what you need is you need uh, letter G or higher. And uh, if you have D or anything lower, you can't run the GD-ROM drive. So. Uh, he also found out that uh, these chips, for example, I think it goes up to H, he said. H was the uh, most sought after one because it was the last revision of the BIOS. But one interesting thing I found was that uh, that Naomi that I wound up repairing with the uh, zombie revenge in it. If you take a look at this, this one actually has the H uh, version of the uh, the BIOS on it, which I am super stoked about. So that means this is uh, another board that can easily uh, work with the um, with the GD-ROM drive. Now to go back to the GD-ROM drive, I'll kind of walk you guys through what I've been uh, messing around with here. I uh, got this GD-ROM drive with that Triforce over there, and uh, if you remember right, it was pretty dirty. Um, I took the whole thing apart, cleaned every single part up on it. Uh, regreased the uh, the rails for the laser and uh, put it back together in hopes that it would work. Now, when I uh, when I went and tried hooking it up, you know, I realized that there was one cable over here that wasn't hooked up, and was thinking to myself, how does this thing get power? Well, I went online and I checked out uh, some uh, interesting forums uh, where people were talking about the power, and the way that this thing works is uh, it needs an external power cable here, and normally uh, there's uh, ones that you can buy for it, but I just made one. I know it's a kind of a sloppy job, but it does uh, it does do the trick. And uh, what I did is I cut a regular connector that I had, looked uh, similar to uh, something like this. I just uh, chopped it from one to six because there's six pins on here. Although you only wind up using uh, about four of these pins, there are six pins on it. And the way that this works is uh, starting from the right to the left, this is pin one, and the last one on the left is pin six. This thing's not focusing in so well, but uh, starting with pins one and pin two, those are your plus 12 volts. Uh, starting uh, after that, there's uh, two more pins in the middle, and those are your uh, plus five volts, and then the last two are your grounds. So you have plus 12, plus 12, plus 5, plus 5, and then ground, ground. So, uh, pins 1 and 2 are 12, 3 and 4 are uh, 5, and then uh, 5 and 6 are ground. But I made that cable up, plugged that in, got that all uh, connected up here. And, uh, yeah, it's just been a, a bit of a hassle here. Put in the, uh, the GD-ROM drive, uh, or the GD-ROM, put in the security chip, and uh, when I booted this thing up the second time, it actually came up with uh, Naomi Network, uh, Network something, I can't remember what it said. Um, it had a different logo on it. And uh, 
it took forever for this thing to load the game. Uh, I've never seen something take so long. It went through a, a regular check and uh, check to see if everything was okay. Then it went through a ROM check. Then it went through a RAM check. And it was going like, I mean, just 1%, 2% each time. So the whole process took a couple of minutes. But once everything uh, gets loaded onto this DIM board here, the, uh, the GD-ROM is no longer used. It doesn't, uh, doesn't start up, it doesn't spin the disk, so it saves the, uh, the drive from being constantly on. But it loads all the info in here. And I'll show you what's going on. This is uh, Melty Blood. To make a long story short, it is working. It's working fantastic. So, like I said, it just took forever for this thing to load up. I mean, just a really, really long time for everything to get set up. But once it started up and once it, uh, once it got uh, everything loaded, it's working great. So, but. Just figured I'd share this with you guys here. Um, I was going to put up a video on the Triforce, but uh, unfortunately with no games for it, all it does is just pop up the Triforce logo and uh, like one sound, it's like ding, and then that's it. <laughs> it just sits there. But uh, it is working. The Triforce uh, first version is working. So I'm going to have to work on the, uh, the third one though. But uh, this uh, Melty Blood here does work on the uh, the uh, Naomi 1s. It's uh, not a Naomi 2 game, but it's uh, kind of awesome. And the only problem with these uh, DIM boards, as uh, I've been you know, told and as I found out here, is that uh, on the back side here, underneath this cover, there's a battery. And uh, once that battery dies, which it must have died, I'm guessing, it must have died by now, the uh, the dim board doesn't save the information, so you have to go through the uh, the whole process. Next time you go to turn it on, you have to go through the same procedure of uh, letting it load the game and whatever. So it takes quite some time. But so figured I'd show you guys what's going on here, and uh, yeah, lots of uh, cool stuff. I'm really happy about this. The fact that everything's working out all right, and uh, this GD ROM setup actually uh, works, which is uh, you know fantastic got another Triforce, at least that one works. I'll have to try and see what I can do with that bottom one, see if I can get the video fixed on it, but yeah. So that's about all for me for right now. Like always, I'll put up another video here soon, so thanks for watching. Tons of wires.